2.1. What is a mean household size? In the last lesson, we talked about mean, median, and mode, and range. Mean, what is the mean math problem? Which makes us do the most work, where we have to add and then divide. Median sounds like the word medium, or the word which problem is in the middle, equal on both sides. Mode sounds like most, which number happened the most, and range, where we take the maximum value and we subtract the minimum value. So in this lesson, we'll be using our information from this lesson, we'll be carrying it throughout the week. So make sure you pay attention. So six students in a middle school class use the United States Census guidelines to find the number of people in their household. Each student made a stack of cubes to show the number of people in his or her household. The stacks show that the six households vary in size. So this lesson is on page 34 through 37. You're going to need your book. You might also want to look at the attachment in Google Classroom. So you will need your book. Make sure you look at your book. If you need to use the Spanish version, please do. So we see right there, we see Ollie, Pablo, Yarnell, Ruth, Gary, and Brenda. So if you turn the page, not only do you see the cubes, but now you have a table with all of that data put there. So each one of those cubes represents one person in the household. Now, problem A, you can use an ordered value bar graph to find the mean of a data set. An ordered value bar graph and a dot plot are shown below. Both display the number of people in the six households found in the household size table one. This is table one. You already found the mean for people by evening out the cube stacks. So what they did is they had the cube stacks and they just moved them out. So the first one, um, Ollie had two. He had two cubes. One, two. Pablo had six, so we, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have Yarnell had three. So one, two, um, we have Ruth with four. One, two, three, four. So Ruth had four people in her family, so we'll give her four cubes. Gary had three. One, two, three. And our sixth person was Brenda, and Brenda had six people. So let's give Brenda six cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the way that we can find the mean using cubes. Now, I'm going to look here and I'm gonna say this one only has two. This one has six, this one has three, four, three. Well, I know automatically that six is way too many. I'm going to have to move some over. So I'm gonna take this six and I'm gonna move it over here and I'm going to add a fourth one there. But I still have five there. So I'm gonna move this number five and I'm gonna move it over here. Well, now I notice that all of these have four cubes now. So if I take these two, five and six off, I can add a third and a fourth cube here. Now, all six people have exactly four cubes, okay? It's not saying that every household has four people, but it's saying, yes, I understand Ollie has two people and Brenda has six, but the average is about four people. So it does, it takes account the two people and it takes account the six people, but it's saying that there's about six people. Okay, so for problem A, it says, explain how the ordered value bar graph and dot plot are related. 
So it's saying, how are they related? Related. Your mom and you are related. Your cousins are related. Anybody in your family, you are related. So that means how are they the same or how are you similar? So we're going to look at this graph and think, how are these two graphs on the bottom of page 36 similar? They are similar. Think about the x-axis. Remember the x-axis, you lay down before you get up. X comes before Y. I see something on the X axis there. I see the numbers zero to seven. I can also say, I see they both have six households. What else can you say about them? How are they related? Use your words. So tell me three things that you notice that is the same or that is similar about these two graphs, okay? Problem number two, A2. Brenda used the ordered value bar graph at the right to identify the mean. Her first steps are shown. On a copy of the graph, complete Brenda's steps. So you're going to say number two. You're going to step-by-step step tell me what Brenda did. Think about what I did with the blocks. What could Brenda do with her graph to make it even? So I could say Brenda moved one block down to Ollie, or did Brenda move two blocks down to Ollie? Step by step, how can Brenda make this so that everybody is equal down to four? Now, again, there's two ways to do that. You can either say, move all of the blocks over, or you can add them up. So, Ollie with his two people in his family. Yarnell with three. Oops. You have Gary with three. You have Ruth with four. You have Pablo and Brenda with six. You add all of those together and you get 24. We're going to make a fraction out of that because fractions and division are exactly the same thing. Now I'm going to count how many different numbers I have or values. I have one, two, three, four, five, six because there are six households. So I added them all up. I have six values. That's going to equal four. So I can move the blocks or I can add them all up and divide by how many there are, and it's four. Therefore, the mean equals four. Again, the mean is the average. Mean is four. So, Ollie says that after evening out the bars, the graph looks like six households with four people each. How might you have predicted the mean? Explain. So, using your words, just by looking at the graph, graph, how can you predict that four was the mean? Give me one to two sentences. Make sure you turn these in in a Google Doc and go ahead and do B all on your own. So it's asking you to make do exactly the same thing that we just did with A, but with a new set of data. Now, everything with Ollie, Yarnell, Gary, Ruth, Pablo, and Brenda, that's all household one. Everything that you do with B will be household two. You will use this data for the rest of the week. So make sure Reggie, Tara, Brendan, Felix, Hector, and Tonisha, that's household two. So you need that information. Make sure you get it down and that will be household two. If you have any questions, ask it in Google Classroom and we can do a Google Meet. Thank you for those of you that have been asking. And again, I hope to see some of you this week. If you have questions, don't forget to ask and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.